Hey guys, it's Brendan. Thanks again for joining me on my channel. Um, welcome back down here to the layer and uh, another unboxing video as I always do. So uh, this one has been on my radar for a while now. Uh, you guys finally talked me into it, decided to make the purchase. This is really one of the last two that I really have on my radar. So um, I am still waiting on the Horizon Hobby Arf to come back in that I have the Sato FG61 twin cylinder for. So that one's going to be a special project down the road. Um, I just found out that one's not even due back in now until spring. So they pushed it off again. But anyway, uh, decided to finally give in and pull the trigger on a, a, a long awaited plane. Always been one of my favorites. Uh, so without much ado, let's uh, cut this bad boy open and I'll give you my thoughts on my first impression. So what is in the mystery box let's go ahead and cut this thing open and let's find out Dun dun dun, here it goes. My little thank you coupon on the inside of there. And here you go. Again, as always, we'll recycle the garbage. So from Motion RC and Freewing. Um, it is the A10 Thunderbolt 2, otherwise AKA the Warthog. So this thing is a twin fan, 80 millimeter, 1900 KV nine blade, actually has a 90 mil uh, version, set of fans for the back of it if you wanna go down that road. So twin 100 amp ESCs, roughly a 66 inch wingspan is reported to be a phenomenal grass flyer. So uh, I do fly off grass and um, have some other jets that do well in the grass. And I'm currently looking to upgrade the power system in my F-14. I am going to be putting in the FMS 80 mil Platinum V2 fans into that thing. Those are 2100 KV. So that'll be an upgrade as soon as I get those. Um, but otherwise, all those things are delayed. Chinese New Year and things like that. So. Um, we're going to go ahead and work on this in the meantime. We just got the Futura. Weather here still sucks, so I haven't had a chance to fly that yet. We'll do the Maiden on that. So in the meantime, keep building stuff, I guess. So, nice box as always, dual layers, top slides right off. So it looks like we have our sticker packet here for liveries. There are, get my razor blade here. There are three different liveries that come with this model. Um, the Black Snakes, the um, Flying Tigers, and there was another one here. So you have the Indiana Black Snakes, so, and then a bunch of different faces on uh, deliveries for these things. So I think that's what I'm gonna go with um, is the black snake. So we got some nice decals here, some cutouts, lots of different options. I don't think I'm going to customize the paint scheme on this one. I think all I'm going to do is maybe do some rivet work and some weathering to it. I like the scale gray appearance on this one, but I do think I'll spend a little bit of time doing some rivet work to it, so pop out the top pieces. Instruction manuals always plus. So this thing is like enormous in size when you see people hold it up. So um, can't wait to do the assembly on this thing.
guess I can keep my razor blade over here on this side. So it looks like we're going to have two wing halves. Again, free wing, Motion RC, A10, uh, Thunderbolt 2, a.k.a. the Warthog. So, um, looks like we're going to have to do some linkage hookups to this again. Um, they have nice hinged flaps. They're not the little foamy flaps on this thing. We have some lights in there. Um, looks like we have an opening here on the front of the leading edge. I'm not sure what that is, but they probably got some type of tubes that go in there or some type of little design. So just your kind of military scale paint job. Actually have some nice, man, those look like some heavy duty gear in there. I don't know if you guys can see that treaded wheels heavy duty landing gear and like i said this has got some really good reports has good power gets off grass really well lands really well in the grass so um, that's always a concern with the foamy edfs is is getting them torn up on the landing on the grass runways this um this model also comes with armament I know that that was listed in there. Most planes, that's an upgrade for. It comes stock with these things, so that's cool. That's a plus. Looks like we got to take some more foam out. Oh, look at this. Oh, I got to cut that. So here are the... Uh, They look like big night vision goggles. So you can see these things it's like, wow, you can see stuff at night. So anyway, here's the engine nacelles. Um, these are monstrous, by God. So big engine housings on these things. That's first impression on here. Um, you got the wire and speed controls wrapped up in here, it looks like. Um, really nice again. Bro, do you even swirl? We got to put swirlies in there. I don't care if the OE has them or not or the, the real version has them or not. How do you got them big fans that people see and I'll put swirlies in there? Those look bad. Those are cool. So, nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blade fans. So, 280 mil nine blade fans in there. So, this is going to be powered by two 6S batteries in this one. More foam. The other wing half. Again, packaging is always done really well on this stuff. Box had a couple marks and beat up corners on it, but I mean, otherwise looks solid. Yeah, this thing is screaming for some weathering, guys. And I'm not a weathering master. I think I do some stuff like, eh, it's okay. But we can definitely put some rivet lines in there. I'll do a little research to find where the rivets um, technically lay. But you can see all the holders and stuff for the armament in here. But, man, I love the big gear in this. Man, that's impressive. The split flap system, just like the, uh, the scale version. Real version. So, yep. I think we'll definitely hit this with some, some weathering and um, some panel lines. I think rivets in the panel lines would be really nice. So, I'm sure what we got in here is the fuselage. Tons of pieces. I like lots of pieces because I like putting these things together. So, um... Keeps me busy for a while. It takes your mind off work. You know, you can't wait to get home from some long days. Spend an hour or two down in the room, down in the lair, putting some stuff together. Like to put some music on in the background. Found out the hard way. Can't do that in YouTube videos because then they have to mute it. Not like I get any endorsement money anyway, but they say you can't monetize anything. That's fine. Wasn't monetizing to begin with. But, yeah, they didn't like the Christmas music. So... Hurrah, hurrah, so it goes. So this looks like um, part of the horizontal stab. Linkage is already hooked up on there. Um, I don't know. I like the I like the ball link ends, if you guys can see that. But notice 
this ball link end right there, how they're crooked, they're tension that way. I'm always afraid they'll pop off. So what I do is I make sure that those are all parallel with each other so that this, this ball link is parallel with the linkage just so it has better geometry as you um, pivot that thing. So I guess you'll have your hard, um, vertical stabilizers that'll fit on the end of there. Yeah, this is definitely, this is not going to be one of those models that I just free, free try, you know what I mean, that you just have at it. There's, there's a lot of pieces here. We're going to have to follow the book. So this is going to be our um, front half of the fuselage. So this thing is this thing is pretty big. I mean, nose wise, pretty sturdy. Wires look nicely laid out in there, if you can see in the inside. Room for the batteries. Battery straps already in there. Wiring does look good, fairly tidy. Nose feels solid on this. It doesn't feel like it has a give. You could see the landing gear and the light on the inside. I love that they put the LEDs and stuff in these. This one still has the old box. A lot of the new ones have gone to the blue box. So um, I haven't had any issues with the ones that have that. But obviously newer planes, um, newer, vo uh, newer model, newer versions of the blue box and in the inside, the splitter. But those will work well for me. No problems. Yeah, a lot of little neat intricate parts will be on this. And it looks like here we probably have to put Mr. Foam Tack to work. This looks like the back half of my fuse. So that thing will be pretty long. Um, anytime that I have to slide these carbon rods together, I chamfer the edges. So that way this will slide in the tubes easier. But this looks like another um, big carbon fiber square support going right down the center. I like... You know, they're foam, but they integrate a lot of plastic and carbon fiber stuff nice and sturdy. The paint on here looks pretty good. It feels tight. Feels tight. Lots of plastic stuff. So there is our um, cockpit. Again, all this stuff is really well protected. Uh, looks pretty well put together. So... Um, it's kind of goofy the guy got no legs in there but um yeah it's decent has little sticker cockpit and stuff you know a lot of guys they make that illuminate and things in there um again people's creativity so nice running out of room on the workbench there's a lot of parts here so i'm gonna assume those are for holding some more armament Yeah, a little bit of garbage here on one of the horizontal stabs. Not a big deal. I don't expect perfection with the foam stuff. But again, um, looks like they use a form of Robart hinges there on the inside. But as long as they got hinges in there, then we don't have to worry about the, the hinge tape and things breaking and stuff like that. The foam. I like the plastic hinges a lot in this stuff. Freewing uh, Motion RC, they do a great job with that. Got our rocket launchers. Lots of armament pieces. Our bag of uh, little miscellaneous goodies. You have screws in there, some linkages. Um, I don't opt for this little anti-slip battery tray tape, if you can see that right there. I just always go with Velcro, but it's included. The typical foam tack generic glue that they give you. It may be real foam tack, it may not, I don't know. 
Um, and then it just looks like all your trim plastic pieces come in this bag. So we'll leave those sealed because I don't like to spill them all over the place. Here is my other horizontal stab or vertical stab. My apologies, vertical stab. So both of those. All this stuff's pretty lightweight. See, this box is just full of this stuff. Pylons for missiles. Some people leave it off. Some people like it. I like the scale if it doesn't really hurt it flying. I like that look. Missiles. This one, the fins are a little bit bent. Again, I don't look for perfection out of the foam planes. They'll get beat up worse in the car. More foam pieces. The stuff's really light, but I'm sure if you add up one after another after another, it adds weight. Big greenies. At least this thing will have a nice, really scale look to it. But I have a pile of stuff that's building up now. Again, well painted, everything looks like it stayed on there. Nothing's really damaged, it's boxed really well. I think that's about it. So, um, so we have a couple long carbon fiber rods. Um, assuming one is going to be the wing, one is our other horizontal stab. And then I know they give you this wire in here for fish, um, for fishing your wires through the fuselage. So we'll be following the directions for that stuff. It looks like, again, just some more housing armament pieces. Same things, same things. There's a ton of small pieces in here, so we're going to have to really go through the foam carefully, make sure we don't miss anything. Just packing. More. And it looks like they have 